Hello, it's Lion here with Hobbies of Man once again, and today we're going to be doing our first First Impressions review video for this month. Today we're going to be looking at Ace of Diamond, Volume 1, written by Yuji Terajima, uh, published by Kadansha in the Shonen Magazine, um, a demographic obviously is Shonen, and the genres here are sports, um, and I guess you could say um, like coming of age, like most stories like this are, um, but that is not necessarily like a genre that I see associated with this story, but it does kind of feel like that because it's this kid that goes from middle school to high school and he changes his perspective on, on life and on his career as a baseball player. So it does feel like a, you know, coming of age type story, um, which is cool. And adaptations wise, it does have an anime. I think it has over 120 something episodes. I don't know where you can watch it, but I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. Um, and uh yeah i definitely recommend you guys consume this story in some way uh i would go for the manga but you know that's just me the premise here is that there's this kid called Ajun sawamura he's from this little kind of random place in the middle of nowhere and he is essentially the only kid that likes baseball in his you know area but he has a lot of good friends that join the baseball team with him and try to help him get somewhere important. They try to help him to get uh, past the tournament, to win, to get somewhere um, that he wants to get to, right? However, uh, the story starts with them losing their last game, not qualifying for whatever it is that they're trying to qualify for, and of course, ending their baseball career right there, right then and there, right? What happens after is that some other guy on the other team that they were playing with uh, laughed at something he said, and so uh, Ajun started slapping everyone <laughs> uh, as a way to kind of get back at them, but also kind of impart the spirit of his school onto them so that they can continue um, taking that that uh, that spirit on to wherever else they're going, right? And so when he does this in a very unsportsman uh, ship kind of way, um, he 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 has all of these. Um, what are they called? Like scholarship opportunities removed. However, at that game, there was a woman, uh, I think her name was Ray or Say, I honestly don't remember, um, who was a scout for a certain school from Tokyo. So she sees him, she understands that he has a lot of potential. And so she goes and talks to him after the fact. And um, he says, you know what? I'm not really interested because I want to play baseball with my friends. I want to go somewhere and figure out what to do with my life with them and, you know, have my baseball career with them. And she's surprised by this, but she, she doesn't want to give up on him. So she decides to tell him, hey, man, how about you just come with me? We go watch a practice and then you can decide on your own. And so he does. And at this practice, he gets upset at one of these upperclassmen who just treats this guy that's pitching for him horribly. And so they get in an altercation, and because they're on a baseball field, they battle it out on that field, right? So he's a pitcher, and so he has to pitch for this guy. He needs a catcher, and uh, Ajun and this catcher develop a very good, quick connection really well. Um, and then they have this crazy situation where they just strike out uh, and foul ball this guy continuously. And so he can never get anywhere. And so Ajun wins that exchange. And, and he realizes, hey, there's something here that I could never experience anywhere else. And so he is now upset because he had just promised his friends that he was not going to leave them, that he was going to go with them to whatever school they chose because they wanted to play baseball together. And now he has this opportunity and this feeling that makes him uncomfortable. He doesn't know how to deal with it. Um, and so the rest of the story mostly focuses on, on him doing that and eventually having his friends telling him, hey, man, we know, we understand, but you got to do this. This is the best thing for you. And we support it. And so he eventually decides to go. He's on the train. And as he's leaving, his friends tell him, you know, we really wanted to play baseball with you, but we know that this is the best thing for you. And they all cry. And it was actually a really emotional send off. And I really liked it. It actually made me tear up a little bit. It was like very, very good. Um, and then the last chapter of the story is the first day of practice. And it was really, really good. I actually really enjoy baseball stories. It's kind of weird because growing up, I wasn't really a baseball fan. Um, I got into baseball during the pandemic. There wasn't really much going on, but baseball games were still going on. And so I started watching them quite a bit. 
And uh, I actually really ended up enjoying that sport, um, at least watching it, right? And last year when I got into sports manga, uh, it was interesting to read a bunch of soccer manga and, you know, uh, basketball and volleyball. But I had not gotten the chance to read a uh, baseball manga. And now that I did, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to look for more baseball manga uh, to, to review and kind of look into. But... Uh, overall, Ace of Diamond is awesome. It has really great art, very good emotional moments, and just, I don't know, it's just really enjoyable. It was really, really, uh, you know, good. I really liked it. So there you go. That's Ace of Diamond. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've read Ace of Diamond or watched it. Let me know what you think about this baseball manga. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys later.